OpenAI has recently introduced GPT Bot, an innovative web crawler designed to optimize artificial intelligence models, particularly in anticipation of the launch of GPT 5. These two groundbreaking advancements have the potential to completely change how we engage with technology, stretching the limits of language models and web crawling abilities. Let's delve into the functionalities of GPT Bot, its role in shaping advanced language models, and the potential breakthroughs that GPT 5 might bring to the table. The impressive web crawler GPT Bot has been developed by OpenAI to scour the vast expanse of the internet and collect abundant textual data from numerous sources. The strength of OpenAI's complex language models, such as GPT-4 and the eagerly awaited GPT-5, is improved because of this accumulation of textual data. The amount of text data that GPT-Bot collects plays a critical role in developing the long-term viability of these models. Before getting more into the details, let's first understand what a web crawler is. A web crawler, also known as a web spider, is a special kind of bot that explores different websites on the internet and takes notes about what's on each site. Big search engines like Google and Bing use these crawlers to help them find information on websites so that when you search for something, the right websites appear in the results. How does GPT bot work? OpenAI stated that this web crawler goes around the internet and gathers information that is available to everyone. But it's smart, it filters out sources that require paywalled content and doesn't collect personal information or things that go against its rules. When you let GPT-Bot visit your website, you're helping to make a big collection of data that improves AI. But remember, it's not the same for every website. People who manage websites can decide whether they want to let GPT-Bot visit or not. We have the power to choose. How can you control GPT bot access? If website owners want to control bot's access to their site, they can change a file called robots.txt. If they don't want GPT bot to visit their site, they can add this. User agent GPT bot disallow slash. In contrast, those who want to provide partial access can add this to the robots.txt file. User agent GPT bot allow directory one disallow directory two. When GPT-Bot goes to websites, it uses specific IP addresses that OpenAI has listed on their website. This helps website administrators know where the traffic is coming from. Deciding whether to allow or block bots access can significantly impact your website's privacy, security, and contribution to AI progress. Are there any ethical concerns? GPT-Bot is designed to identify itself to website administrators so they can block it using robots.txt. But some people say there's no good reason to let GPT-Bot in, unlike search engine crawlers that drive traffic. A big concern is that it might use copyrighted content without giving credit. And right now, ChatGPT doesn't say where it gets information from. There are also questions about how GPT-Bot deals with pictures, videos, music, and other content on licensed websites. If that media ends in model training, it could constitute copyright infringement. Some experts say using crawler-made data might even make AI worse if it starts mixing up things. On the other hand, some state that OpenAI should be able to use public web info freely, like how people learn from the internet. GPT-Bot has started extensive discussions about who owns what and what's fair to use. Even though following robots.txt is a start, transparency might be lacking. The tech community is curious about how their info will be used as AI improves. How will GPT-Bot pave the way for enhanced language models? As said before, GPT-Bot and OpenAI's language models work together in a mind-boggling way. GPT-Bot collects vast information, which helps make language models even better. These improved models can do many things, like writing text, translating languages, making summaries, and answering complex questions, all with really good natural language skills. Release date for GPT-5 OpenAI is getting ready to introduce GPT-5. Although we don't know all the details yet, there are hints that OpenAI is working hard on this exciting new model. 
They've even applied for a trademark for GPT-5, which suggests they're getting ready to show it to the world. When GPT-4 came out in March 2023, people thought the next model, GPT-5, would be out by the end of the year. But now experts are saying that before GPT-5, there might be an in-between model called GPT-4.5. So we might have to wait until around 2024 for GPT-5. GPT-5A Game Changer? Now, let's talk about what will make GPT-5 special. One thing is for certain, it will be huge, way bigger than GPT-4. For instance, if we talk about size, GPT-4's remarkable 175 billion parameters will be overshadowed by the potentially enormous trillion parameters of GPT-5. This bigger size means it can remember much more and will understand and use language more accurately and smoothly. Quantum Leap Towards AI GPT-5 has sparked an exciting discussion about whether it could reach something called Artificial General Intelligence or AGI. AGI is like making AI understand and learn things just like humans. It's a big goal for AI, but some people think GPT-5 might bring us closer to it. However, experts say we're not there yet, and it might take us a few years. Some challenging problems remain, like helping AI think and learn better and ensuring it behaves ethically. OpenAI's unveiling of GPT-5 and GPT-Bot casts a spotlight on the limitless possibilities. These technological marvels will eventually open doors to AI-assisted creativity, knowledge, and communication. The future is undeniably exciting, with GPT-5 poised to redefine the boundaries of language models and GPT-Bot paving the way for comprehensive data acquisition. As the AI landscape evolves, we find ourselves at a crossroads of innovation, where human ingenuity and machine intelligence converge to shape a world beyond imagination. We hope you enjoyed this journey into OpenAce GPT-5 and GPT-Bot, and if you found it as fascinating as we did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more captivating content, and share your thoughts and comments below. We would love to hear your feedback and suggestions. Until next time, keep exploring with AI Disclosure, where learning never stops, and wonder knows no bounds.